What's up everyone, I'm Terrible at the Game and we're bringing you guys today another YouTube video. This time I'm playing GP vs. Camille on my, not my main account, on my Smurf, which is currently Diamond 1, sitting at 17 LP. And I believe the MMR of the game should be around that, I don't know if it's D1 Masters, D2, but basically, high, high, somewhat high elo gameplay and we're ho I'm hoping to let you guys learn new things. If you do like the videos, as always, be sure to like like the video, comment what you want to see next, subscribe, and tune into my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash solarbrock. I'm streaming Mondays through Fridays from 5 to 6 p.m. start time to 11 to 1 a.m. end time. But definitely streaming every day unless stated otherwise in my Discord, which you can also join in the description below. And yeah, let's get right into this game. So, GP versus Camille is kind of an even matchup up until GP gets Sheen. And Triforce. That's when GP has the biggest chance of killing Camille. Also got to be careful because there I see their jungler is Ali. She's going to be looking to gank me early. So if anything, I'm going to give Camille the shove early. Also, runes, I'm actually changing up. I'm going to try something new, chat. Something that I thought up this morning. I, I, I'm i not even lying. I thought of it this morning. I go... I go sorcery, secondary, with mana flow, transcendence. I go full scaling runes like that. And then what I do, what I do is build a death stance second actually. I build a death stance into a Leandris. And I cue the minion when I see the Camilla's right there. Wonderful. Oh. Jesus Christ. I streamed too many games today and it shows. Knew it. That's my bad. Nice. I knew she would show up, so I warded over the wall, because that's the way she would go, if anything. I said she would show up, but I still didn't respect it, so that's my bad. Nice. Scaling nicely, just poking her out a little bit. What I'm going to get now is actually a... Whoa, what is this? I'm actually going to TP back to this wave and see if it's diveable. Don't TP yet, don't TP yet. Yeah, I'm not playing the best right now. I'm kind of worn out. If I'm being completely honest. But, I mean, that doesn't mean we're not going to still play to the best of our ability. <laughs> the best of our current ability. Okay, I almost got my mana flow stacked too. I think he's gonna keep TP? Yeah, he is. Beautiful. What I did there is I autoed her right before her E attached the wall. Because if I hit her before E attaches to the wall, I also hit her before she lands her auto on me, which means she took the full damage of my passive. Wait, what? This is pushing. Oh, shoot. I screwed the wave over. Uh-oh. Not a big deal. kind of did an oopsies, but... We're okay. Can I just ult something for Sheen, honestly? I really want my Sheen. <laughs> oh. Who am I ulting?
Okay, well he kept me in lane for a little bit longer, so I'm not entirely opposed to that. But yeah, the way you fight Camille, you don't auto her, you don't Q her at all until her shield goes down. Once her shield goes down, you can do whatever you want. Oh, she should have taken TP. She took Ignite versus Victor. I'm still watching for anything that happens. No clue where Elise is, but she went boots, so she, she if she's rushing Moby, she's going to be in a very bad spot. What I want to do now is just continue to wait, continue to wait until she wants to fight me. Because I outscale her anyways, so... Oh, I'm okay with how things are going. I outscale her at this rate, I mean. Typically, if it's... I'll just toss my ulti down there. No! She dropped down when my ulti wasn't going, so I didn't get the assist. I just wanted an assist, man. What a bunch of jerks. Also, level 7 is the key number versus Camille. Because this is when it's very easy to trade on her when she E's on me. And you guys will see why very soon. What? I played it extremely sloppy and missing my barrel. I missed one barrel, so the entire play is really sloppy, but we still end up killing her because I know my limits and I know that I can easily kill Camille as long as I didn't auto her shield. I think I actually did auto her shield, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But it didn't matter because I had Sheen and I was using it properly. Wave's kind of in a bad spot right now, but nothing I could do to really fix it. My best bet is to just keep going top lane and keep chilling, keep farming. <laughs> Excuse me. Got my ulti up in 40 seconds. Well, they had two very different targets there. But it still ended up working out, so good for them. The key, the key to winning most matchups is not panicking. People will panic and they will end up losing out on a free kill or end up on dying actually because they let the nerves get the better of them. GP is a champion where, where you can't really be panicking. Like that, that was a kill also right there, but I messed up my barrel timing. Like, I think Elise is going to come top lane now, so I'm going to play a little bit more defensively, but I know she's here. So I'm looking for a way to out to kill her. When he goes on me, maybe. You see it, the way he's posturing? The way he's posturing tells me Elise is here, so I'm going to place a barrel in this bush in preparation of that. Like, I know Elise is here. It's all about how I play it, though. Not panicking. Damn. That's my bad. 
I if I if I knew it was three, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have done that. I wasn't expecting Leona, especially in a Sivir Senna lane. I thought they would go for a kill on the Senna, but I guess not. That sucks. They get a shutdown and they get gold. I think it's killable though. But because they used everything on me, they have nothing left to fight my actual team. So even though I didn't necessarily do anything, just absorbing that pressure was good enough. Oh, we get a play. Okay, never mind. He's good. We're chilling and we're chilling. Very interesting. Uh oh. This play is not gonna work out well. I was trying to bait for my jungler, but he couldn't find a good a good time to go in. the hell happens here? Oh, there you are. I was like, where the hell did this Camille go? I'm out of there, bro. There's no passive shield. She doesn't have ulti yet. Now she has ulti. She didn't have it before though because of the Rengar gank earlier. She has a ward in there? Really? The hell? Oh, she's getting the honey fruit. She's gonna be super healthy when she comes back to lane. I wonder if I can just... Nah, the fleet footwork, she's getting too much movement speed. But I can't recall yet either. I don't want to give this guy the tower. He doesn't deserve it. Damn, I could have I could have punished him really hard there. The way he did was queuing before he even went on me. Kind of like a prediction. Yeah, I should have been able to predict that.
Try to be careful until Sun is here. She should have ulted instantly. Damn, that kind of sucks. I thought I had Senna ult. Because then I would have lived through the Camille ult to flash out, but it's not a big deal. We're okay. And our team's doing great, too. Not bad. It's no problem. The play still ended up working out, so there's no reason to be down in the dumps. Oh man, I'm gonna miss out on this wave, unfortunately. That kind of blows. Kind of a stonker. Nice, good tower. We're breaking their team up already. Now, what I want to build next, I think, versus Camille with what she has right now, is probably an Executioner's. Cut down her healing, because I think she could get two or three. Fleet procs in a fight. Damn it. Damn it. I am so bad at timing that. In my head, I'm like, okay, I got the timing, I got the timing. Played with too much confidence, so I shut her down. Let her know that I'm the one who's winning this matchup. Ah, it's troll to TP. I should just walk it. Super troll to TP. I should not TP to the bot wave. It would be too greedy of me when I can just walk it down and then save my TP for a good team fight or something that happens. It's really just such a greedy play. This is why I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to walk down. I'll see what I can do here. I think I could do something here for my team. What? In what world? In what world do they know about my genius plan? Paranoid, I won't lie. Oh, 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 oh. An ally has been slain. Not yet. Now I go. Get that. Nice. Victor actually got to recall for some reason. Server was afraid of him, I think. Because that victor was literally 1 HP. He 
was like 300 HP. It's okay. Go ahead. You want to tilt TP? I'll let you do it. You want to tilt TP? I'll let you do it. I'm not going to stop this guy from doing it. Get shit on. Go back to base. He wants to tilt TP, I'm not going to stop him. Now I'm going to tilt die right here, because that's being cool. There's two bot lane, I'm gonna go after them. I have my ulti to assist. If I need to. Now the reason why, even though the score looks good and why we have so many dragons, why we're not ending is because they actually do have some a decent amount of wave clear. See what they do here. Why hello, Kaisa. What? Okay, I mean <laughs> I guess. All right, well, I mean, it was a little bit of an anticlimactic game, but it's good to keep some of these videos short and sweet because I believe I played, I think I made one mistake in laning phase where I walked up too close, but other than that, I would say I had a pretty solid or perfect game there. And yeah, um, that's basically how you can cleanly carry a game slash clean, cleanly close out a game while accelerating your lead instead of dropping it. I accelerated my lead by continuing to farm, taking fights that I knew I could win, and positioning myself in a way so that even if I die, like how I did top lane, I still burned so many of their ultimates and so many resources, and burned them low to the point where my team could just finish them off, and then the game was over. If you guys did like the video, be sure to like it, comment, subscribe, tell me what you want to see next, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.